Hi there, Elizabeth from PPD Search here again. Welcome to video nine in our interview series. This week, I want to share advice on hiring Gen Zs. Gen Zs and millennials currently make up 38% of the global workforce, and this will rise to 58% by 2030. The oldest Gen Zs are coming up to their late 20s, so we are seeing more and more of them moving into management and wanting to move into management as soon as possible. To attract a Gen Z, you need to rethink your talent and recruitment strategy, as they are different to any gener generation before them. One of our top, well, sorry, one of the top priorities for them um, is to work for companies that allow flexible work environments with flexibility in hours and work from home. Don't think you will attract Gen Zs if you do not offer a hybrid work environment. They also care about social responsibility, so want to work for organisations with a strong purpose who care about making a difference. They want meaningful work and as digital natives, advanced technology, systems and processes. At work, they want to talk about, for example, mental health, climate change, diversity, equity and inclusion. In fact, 77% of Gen Zs think diversity is very important at work. For companies that don't prioritise these issues, you will not attract these people. Also, in your talent attraction strategy, know that social media has a huge part to play in engaging this generation. Advertising a job is one thing. We need to think about how we engage and connect with these people. We know that video is way more engaging than traditional advertising, and Gen Zs will research and review what people say about you on platforms such as Seek and Glassdoor. If your culture and reputation is deemed as negative, this will be a huge challenge um, around what others say about you, because that's how Gen Zs assess who they want to work for. Basically, no strong social media presence that is modern and fresh, that describes why they should work at an organisation means no candidates or no Gen Zs anyway. And remember, you must make the application process fast and uncomplicated. They apply for numerous jobs and are often attracted to companies that have the most modern technology when applying. So if it's clunky and old and requires them to enter information past the first screen, you've lost them. Finally, keep in mind tenure may be different depending on generations. Gen Zs don't care about moving around. They will go to the company that benefits them the most. It's estimated that they will have 17 jobs in five different careers in their lifetime. I could bang on about the gaps in generations for hours, but I'll leave this with you to process and digest. Happy interviewing and bring on the Gen Zs. They have a lot to offer. You just need to work out which are the best way to lead them. Video 10 will be posted next week. Bye for now.